So what's up guys hope you are doing well I'm Mesh from TechMesh and today I'm going to show you that how you can fix your Microsoft Edge not opening or it is opening but not responding or like it is crashing and these kinds of problem so I know this is really annoying and in this video I will show you how you can fix this problem so I will show you a couple of steps so one step might work for one person and one step might work for others so i will suggest you to stick with me till the end and follow all the steps all right so let's move on with our first step so at first just right click on your taskbar and then click on task manager and then in your task manager you need to like click on details you can find the details section at the left side of your screen here you can see that i am going to my details and in our details we need to search for ms edge dot exe so right click on ms edge dot exe so here you can see that we have right clicked on here so here you can see a couple of options so we will select end process tree and then here it is saying like if we just click on end process tree then all the instances of our microsoft edge running in our pc will shut down so like we are closing it for now all right so after end process tree then we will like open our microsoft edge again so here here you can see that now it is opening so this is not a permanent solution so let's move on with our step two so in our second step we will like i would definitely suggest you to turn off all the background download or updates available in your computer like if you have an torrent file downloading in the background or if you have a software update downloading or like if you are downloading a software or a file image or video i would definitely suggest you to like pause it uh, while like checking it all right so pause or remove all the pending downloads doing in the background of your pc so this was the second step so in the third step we will remove unwanted extension so to do that we will like click on this three dot icon at the top sorry let me just click on this three dot icon at the top and now here we will scroll down and we will click on this extension tab here and then here we will like here you can see manage extension so just click on manage extension so we have like two extension installed and you can also like add other extensions i i will suggest you to remove unwanted extensions so here you can see the remove button as well so if you want to remove any particular extension then just click on this remove button and the extension will be removed and you can check if it solved your problem or not so now let's move on our next step and it is to update our microsoft edge all right so this in this step i will show you how we can update our microsoft edge so to update our microsoft edge like you need to click on this three dot icon at the top again and then here click on help and feedback and under help and feedback here you can see about microsoft edge so after going to this section then here you can see that it is like already updating updating microsoft edge so if any latest update available for your microsoft edge then it would automatically update your microsoft edge to the latest version and by updating to microsoft edge many people might find their solution in this step so here you can see that it is saying that it has like finished updating so then restart your browser let's move on our fifth step and it is to clear browsing data and cache so let's again open our microsoft edge now so after opening our microsoft edge then we want to like remove our cache and other junk files so we'll just click on this three dot icon again and then here we will scroll down and go to our settings and in our settings we will like click on privacy search and services and under privacy here you scroll down and here you can see clear browsing data so here just click on choose what to clear and here select all time select the range to all time and then here you should like click on clear now so now your browsing data and your cache will be removed but remember you might need to sign in again to the websites or that already logged in so the another step would be to like reset your microsoft edge so to reset your microsoft edge just open your microsoft edge first and after opening your microsoft edge then click on this three dot icon at the top and then here click on this settings option and then at the left side of your screen here you need to click on this reset settings option 
and then here you need to click on reset settings to their default values and then you need to click on this reset button and this would like reset all the settings and get back the default settings default values of your microsoft edge and check if this solve your problem or not then if this didn't solve your problem then let's move on with our last step so the next step is to repair microsoft edge so this is an important step like if all the other step failed for you then i would suggest you to like do this step which is re you need to repair your microsoft edge all right so first you need to go to the settings of your windows and then after coming to your windows just click on apps and in your apps section here you need to click on here installed apps and in your installed apps just search for microsoft edge or just search for edge and here you can see that we have found our microsoft edge so here you need to click on this three dot icon and then here you need to click on modify and now you need to click on repair so after clicking on repair it would automatically download the microsoft edge and it would try to repair the microsoft edge itself so this might take a couple of minutes depending on your internet speed because it would download again your microsoft edge so i would definitely suggest you to be patient in this step all right so i will be back after the download has been completed so here you can see it is saying download done so now it would automatically install the microsoft edge again and try to repair it so just wait for a bit and be patient so that's it that's how you can fix your problem so if all of this method didn't work for you then i would suggest you to like remove microsoft edge completely from your system and then you can also reinstall it again or you can also like use other browsers like google chrome if that's what you prefer so if any of this method work for you then don't forget to hit the like button and also let me know in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so i'm mesh from techmesh and i'm signing out